come with us to have a perfect day at sea on a Disney cruise. Hey everybody, it's Alan and Molly and we are aboard the Disney Dream. Yes, it's our day at sea and we're taking you with us to do all kinds of fun things like Palo Brunch, ride the aqueduct, I guess I'm getting wet today, we're going to solve a crime, a lot of fun aboard the Disney Cruise. I'm very excited. But first, uh, coffee, please. Oh yeah, always coffee. Coffee. One thing that's cool around the ship are some of these portraits have little touches of magic. If you see this frame, just watch the picture for a minute and it might come to life. This is sadly the last morning of our cruise, our day at sea, which is usually my favorite day, um, just because I love being on the cruise ships. And all the other mornings we've gotten room service coffee delivered, which we showed in our last cruise video. But today we decided to do a little something special and head to one of the coffee shops on board for a fancy coffee treat. One thing I want to point out as a little tip, if you've got little ones that are coming, this is like a princess party meet and greet. You can see Princess Tiana, Princess uh, Rapunzel, and Cinderella are all here. This is something you can book in advance. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, but it guarantees you a time to meet the princesses. Highly recommend booking that if you are bringing little ones, because um, it does fill up quick, um, and then you have a locked and loaded princess time. A little bonus magical moment you can look in the app the navigator app which does work on board um, if you connect to the dcl wi-fi to see what time the characters are going to come out and then sometimes they just come out they just pop up and surprise you but we are going to get coffee at vista cafe mm, sounds so fancy. sounds fancy alan look at her outfit <laughs> she's so beautiful oh minnie she's just the cutest thing ever hi minnie Oh my gosh! So, uh, what's so fancy about the coffee? It's cold brew. It's, it's black cold brew. It's, it's very important to me. And actually it is fancy, because in the back behind the counter there is a slow drip of cold water moving into a glass container that takes about six hours to fill up with the cold brew coffee. And they do this all day long to keep fresh up. Uh, Fresh pot. Yeah, so they're making the cold brew on board here as well as they have one going up at the Cove Cafe bar, which is the one up on the by the adult pool deck. So yeah, it is fancy. It is fancy. And I have to say it is really, really smooth as well. Yeah. So uh, included on a Disney cruise um, are most of your meals, things like the little treats inside the case here, the little bakery case, regular coffee, room service. Um, that's all included. However, there are some things you can do for upcharges like the coffee, fancier coffees, like alcohol, like some of the more signature meals, you can pay more to do those things. Do you want to go meet Minnie in her princess dress? I would love nothing more. I knew it. I knew you wanted to go meet yes, Minnie Yes, it is. It is yep, I, I could see that you wanted to meet her. It wasn't me. I don't even like meeting characters, but you wanted a picture with Minnie in her dress, and I will make that happen for you. Yes, absolutely. In your princess dress. Oh, thank you. Minnie's so cute in her princess dress. I've now met Minnie twice on this cruise. Daisy twice. You always look so fabulous. Daisy, 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 Daisy
Oh. Like a rom-com, and we're like doing the fun brunch montage. <laughs> yes, do and, that. Yeah, because we're not going to record what we eat, so. <laughs> oh, brunch. Uh, wow. Such good times. Good times. Now, let's get into the menu. So, Palo Brunch is all you care to enjoy, and there are quite a few sections on the menu, and you are going to want to enjoy quite a bit of it because it is fantastic. For starters, every adult over 21 that enjoys Palo Brunch can enjoy a free glass of Prosecco or a mimosa. Of course, you can add on additional alcoholic beverages, but your first one is included with the brunch. Taking a look at the menu, it's broken down into a variety of sections. There is the antipasti section. This used to be a buffet style, but now it comes served plated. There are also soups, waffles and pancakes, a variety of eggs, their signature pizzas, as well as their signature entrees. So let's break down what we got. For starters, I went for the uh, meat and cheese antipasti, surprising to literally no one. It was prosciutto, copa, brasola. Um, it had some olives, some garlic, a couple different cheeses. It was a phenomenal little cheese board to kick you off. Also started with some delicious breads. There was a focaccia with blue onion, blue onion and pear, which I'm still dreaming about. There's some ciabatta, some lavash bread, and it comes with oil and vinegar. I started with the celery soup with Italian sausage that was actually recommended by our waiter. Uh, it was incredibly smooth, not an overpowering celery flavor. The texture was actually really creamy, which is unexpected for a soup made of celery. And the croutons and the sausage did a great job of changing the texture just enough to let you know that it was a soup with additions. Very light. I would 100% go back and have this again. Next up, I decided I had to try a waffle. I'm not always a sweet breakfast person, but again, this is an all you care to enjoy situation. And who doesn't want to eat a Mickey waffle on a Disney vacation? It's a big Mickey waffle. It's adorable. Our server went above and beyond to make sure he decorated it all cute. It came with fresh strawberries and a little bit of compote. Definitely a good shareable sweet if you just want a bite of something sweet. Classic Mickey waffle can't go wrong. I actually got the standard eggs benedict here. The egg was perfectly cooked. The hollandaise was incredibly creamy and rich. It almost tasted like there was a little bit of mustard or mustard powder in it to break up the richness of the food. The ham was salty and nicely balanced and helped break up the meal to where it was just honestly one of the best egg benedicts I've ever had. I decided to mix it up a little bit and I got the egg Florentine, which is that same runny, gooey, delicious, perfectly cooked egg on a toasted English muffin, but it comes with spinach and a cheesy Mornay sauce. And oh my gosh, y'all, I'm still thinking about this cheesy, delicious, creamy sauce. One of the highlights of the meal for me, a close second to my favorite dish, which I've looked forward to for a long time to eat again. But before we get to that, we have got to get into the signature pizzas that they make in-house from that pizza stone oven. The first pizza we had was sort of a classic take on a margarita. It was incredibly solid. I think it's a standard go-to. If you like pizzas, you're going to like this margarita style pizza. I'm gonna say it's not the fanciest one they had, but boy, you can tell they paid time and attention to it. We also tried the goat cheese and sun-dried tomato pizza. This one I absolutely loved because I love goat cheese and there's a ton of it on there. It also had a good amount of spice because of the red chili flakes and on all these pizzas, the, pe the crust is perfect. I had the spicy Italian sausage pizza next, which was, oh, listen, for a meat lover, this is your go-to pie. And like Molly mentioned, the pizza crust is all made in-house and you just, my gosh, they've mastered that. And we even got to try a secret menu pizza that used to be listed on the menu, but they can still serve it even though it's missing from the paper. It is a white pizza with gorgonzola cheese and grapes, which sounds wild. It sounds like it would not work at all, but just like that delicious white pizza with fruit and meat at Via Napoli and Epcot, it absolutely works. I like this one the best actually because I prefer white pizzas to sauce pizzas. It had a little funkiness because of that gorgonzola, a little bit of sweetness from the grapes to counteract it, that perfect crust. I loved it. I'm glad we went with eight people on this cruise so we could try all four pizzas. Right. And that grape and gorgonzola, I think, is honestly probably going to be one of the highlights of the meal for me. The only thing that is better is what we got next. Next up was the classic, the signature, the iconic 
Parmesan crusted chicken breast. This is their version of chicken parm. It's got a tomato basil sauce, mozzarella cheese, comes with a creamy risotto. And y'all, I cry a little bit when I eat this dish. It does not seem like it should be something that spectacular considering how simple it is, but it is absolutely the best chicken parm I've ever had. That risotto is perfection. The sweetest with the tomato sauce, the cheesy ooey gooeyness. It is chef's kiss. Honestly, this is one of those things that you can get chicken parm mediocre a lot of the time or bad a lot of the time. It's very rare to have chicken parm that is prepared in mass that is this quality. And the best part, in my opinion, is that the chicken and the breading stands up to both the sauce and the cheese. It's not soggy at all. It's still crispy. It's still crunchy. And yeah, I want to get it right now. I actually was looking at booking a Disney cruise as we were reviewing this video just because I want to go eat that chicken again. I'm not mad about it. <laughs> and we ended with some desserts, even though I was incredibly stuffed. I could not resist getting the lemon cello cake. It was light. It was moist. It was fluffy. Um, and it was had some little crispy, crunchies, fried pastas on top. So it was the perfect dessert on top of a big, heavy meal. A little light lemon tart. Lovely. And I went with a classic tiramisu. It was served in a bowl made of chocolate and it was incredibly light, which is the mark of a good tiramisu in my mind. It was not super sweet, but all had the traditional tastes of tiramisu with that sort of layered pastry, chocolate, and cream. Oh, listen, that's one way to my heart is getting a tiramisu done right. Oh, I'm so full. Oh my god. A two hour brunch, but. I mean, worth every bite though. It's the best deal on the ship because you can order as much as you want, try as many things as you can. We were lucky to be with a big group so we could try like all the pizzas and everything, but yeah. what was your favorite? My favorite? The chicken parm, um, hands down, was amazing. The eggs mini was good, but I think the chicken parm was just... I, I've been thinking about that chicken parm for like two and a half years since I was last on the dream. It is unbelievable. I also, that eggs Florentine with the spinach and the cheese sauce. Right. The pizzas are all amazing. If you're an adult, A plus service. Wow, wow, wow. It's a long brunch, though. It was like two hours. So yeah, make sure you set, set aside some time for that. Yeah. It might have been longer for us because we're a party of eight. <laughs> oh, okay, now uh, some pool time, I think. Yeah. On our way back to the room, though, we're going to sign up for the uh, Midship Detective Agency. I have been talking about this for two years. I will not shut up about it. I'm pretty sure my friends would have killed me because <laughs> I keep saying we need to solve a crime. But this is a fun game that they have aboard the Dream, um, and it's an interactive game with the artwork. So, touch to begin. Welcome to the Midship Detective Agency. Which case would you like to solve? Do Please you, choose one now. Do you want to do the Muppets one, the Puppies one, or the Paintings one? Let's do Paintings? Yeah. Welcome, detectives. This is a big case. <laughs> it's a big Let's case. Let's check in with Mickey. Oh boy, am I glad you're here. Because we've got one doozy of a case. You just won't believe it, but paintings are being stolen right here on the ship. <laughs> First stop, deck eight. And it's one of these bad guys. Who do you think it is? Do you want to take bets right now to see if we can guess based on nothing? I say Yzma, with no context. Yzma? I'm going Maleficent. <laughs> on the magnifying glass on the ground? Yep. See what happens. <gasps> now move your badge until it matches up. You did it. Nice. Okay, so, oh, night nice scope. I wonder if the suspect has been here. Use your night scope to see if there's a clue. Oh. Uh, let's see. Ah. <gasps> So they have hands. Hey, this looks like a left hand print. A left That's hand a print. Hmm. Could all of our suspects be a left hand print? Oh, Captain, Captain Hook, Hook can't. So yeah, Captain oh, Hook doesn't have a left, have left hand. So we know it's not Captain Hook. Wait, where do we go, Mickey? Mickey, where do we go? Oh, I can pull out. I see. Oh, poor Donald. <laughs> Donald, this is no time to lie down on the job. There's more missing art, and finding this one means we're on the criminal's trail. Come on, let's go. 
Oh, nice. So, Cruella's in jail, which means it can't be her. I will, Mickey. Thanks. Okay, we're taking a quick break to change into our pool stuff. That's the fun of this game, is you don't have to play it all in one day, in one time. You can pick it up whenever you want, so we'll continue fighting crime later. But first, we're going to go change for the pool. And while we do that, please enjoy this room tour we filmed three days ago, before our room was a disaster. Indeed. Welcome to our stateroom. We're going to do a rapid fire tour. This is a veranda stateroom. Uh, we do have a connecting room with our friends next door. We also, there's four rooms of our friends and we have an expanded veranda. Uh, that's kind of luck of the draw, how big you get of the balcony out there but we did get lucky and we got the bigger one um and if you do have friends and family you're traveling with they can lift the dividers outside so you have like one big party porch when you enter your veranda it looks like this your room will probably not come with an allen taking b-roll though one thing unique about a cruise is that to make the lights work you have to stick your room key in things bathroom number one toilet sink we do have h2o products for now hello there's me Next door, we have the other half of the bathroom, another sink, more H2O products. Here's your shower. Like, is this a big shower compared to an actual shower? No, but it's pretty big for a cruise ship. Across, we have closet, laundry, safe, shelves, life jackets. And next door, we have another closet life jacket. Shelf area with some water glasses, drawers. Here is our bed. Uh, looks like I got some goodies for being a silver club member. I got a bag and a lanyard, very exciting. This couch can also come down to be a sleeper sofa if you let them know. So you can actually get more people in here, but I think two is quite enough. Little TV right here, vanity area, little fridge area if you wanna put some snacks, medicine, drinks, drawers. Here's the hair dryer. Drawers, drawers, drawers. So they're definitely small. They're definitely snug. They're not, I mean, you're on a boat after all, but I think they give you everything you need. Oh my gosh, what is that? Ah! Here's the veranda. So we've got a couple of chairs out here. It's pretty roomy. I can't wait to have room service and coffee out here. And like I said, they took our divider down. This is our friend's room right here. So we can have a party room and then our other two friends are right here. So they took those dividers down too. You can see this one has a divider to divide us from this party we don't know. Same thing over here by Alan. Hi, Miami. Uh, but the four of us can, uh, the four rooms here, the eight of us can all like interactive and have fun, which is very exciting. There is a full length mirror. Ladies, you're welcome. Important to note that every guest, 21 and older, can bring some alcohol on board. They can bring two normal sized bottles of wine or champagne um, or some beer. So we obviously brought some champagne. Next to the bed, look how cute the little lampshade is. It's got all the Disney World castles and then the ships on there. Um, outlets and everything next to the bed as well. Hello. So I am in the Castaway Club, which means this is my at least second because I'm a silver uh, cruise member. So I got a silver lanyard as well. Alan gets nothing. I get a cruise. That's true because um, it's his first cruise. But once you get to five, you get to gold. You get more goodies and things. It's a whole pyramid scheme, but I'm here for it. And just for the record, this is my friend's room and there is no Ursula to be found. So rude in the spirit of not ruining all the magic and showing you all of the different magical windows even though they can change please enjoy this montage of us playing the game Great job, everybody. That's one more should we go up to nine seven yeah let's do it witnesses say they saw something fishy around here <laughs> it's a lipstick Great work. Now, how is that girl got our lipstick? Lipstick? Uh-oh. Maleficent looks like she has lipstick. Evil Queen, maybe Yzma. So we know it's not Jafar or Dr. Facilier at this point. Right. So it could be, you said Yzma? Yes. I said Maleficent, so could be either one. Oh my gosh. Little Dumbo. Dumbo. Oh. Mama Jumbo. 
Oh my gosh, this concept art is adorable. Dumbo is probably the cutest Disney baby. All right, first of all, bold claim. Baby Pegasus is adorable. Baby Pegasus is adorable, but it's not that cute. Who do you think the cutest Disney baby is? Drop it in the comments. Right. Could be any Disney baby. Any, yes, correct. But I think it's Dumbo. Pegasus. Oh no. Whoa, whoa, maybe got some paint. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, keep going. It's a painting. Oh, there's a stateroom. Oh, they have a stateroom? You really have a knack for the art of detective work. We did it. You're welcome, Disney Dream. The artwork is safe. Yeah. I just love it. That's so fun. That was a really good time. That reminds me of the Kim Possible experience mm -hmm. that used to be at Epcot that was replaced by, I think, Phineas and Ferb for a while. Yeah, and it was going to be Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but I don't know if that's ever going to happen at this point. What's fun is that you can play these multiple times because there could be different villains, um, and there are three different murders you could do. Murders. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait, we, you can commit a lot of different murders on the Disney Dream. Please do not commit murder on the Disney Dream. Wow. Or anywhere. <laughs> that, that, yeah, I think that's just good rule of thumb in general. There's three different crimes, cases you can solve. There's the painting one we did. There <laughs> is a puppy one that has those same villains. And then there's a Muppet-themed one. And if you do it multiple times, you could get multiple answers. Very fun thing to do aboard the Dream. Oh, man. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the pool. Oh, look at these old pictures of oh, Pinocchio. Concept art for the film. Oh, that's so cool. Even then all the woodshop detailing is really, really neat. Speaking of Pinocchio, that trailer for the new live action Pinocchio? Kind of a nightmare. Oh, what's happening, Jiminy? Looks like some sort of fairy magic. Kinda on the nose, if you ask me. Oh, look at Mickey and Minnie. And Goofy and Donald. So cute. I love the little touches. That Goofy is wearing pants. That Goofy should. This is the main family area with the Mickey pool and the aqua duck. But if you are childless millennials like us, you go to the adults only area. Up on the top decks are the adult section. You've got a pool, you've got hot tubs, you've got this like satellite pool where you can just kind of sit in and drink. There are lounge chairs up here, several bars. They'll have music going, uh, live music sometimes. Servers come to your uh, lounge chairs and bring you drinks. It is perfect if you didn't bring kids with you or you dropped your kids off at the Oceaneers Club. Back at our little pool and I've got a beer. I wish there was a shark out there. My friends have been making fun of me because I keep looking for sharks the whole time, but uh, went ahead and refilled my beer mug. I feel like this beer mug is one of the best kept secrets if you are an adult who is a beer drinker. Basically, you pay for the mug. It's $16 and then whatever beer you get in it. And then throughout the trip, um, once you're done drinking for the day, they'll give you a little token for it. And then you can take that to any bar and fill it up with any of the draft beers that they have. And the bars have different things from craft beer. This is a Bud Light with an orange because I'm a fancy lady. And at the end of the cruise, you can turn it in one final time and they'll give you one of the cups to take home. But the best part about this, if you are a frequent cruiser, you can actually bring this aboard the next cruise and you can take advantage of getting the more beer for the same price. Cheers to my fellow beer drinkers. Also, I wanna point out that while you do have to pay additional for alcohol, alcohol's not included. There's no drink packages really on a Disney cruise like there are in some other cruise lines. Um, the alcohol's not as expensive as it is like in Walt Disney World. A beer might be seven, eight dollars, whereas a beer in Walt Disney World is usually more around twelve dollars. So yes, you're still paying to drink alcohol. Um, cocktails are less as well, but because you're paying more to be on a Disney cruise, it's not quite as expensive as you might think. On our way to the Aqua Duck. Gonna get wet now. Yeah. Okay. I mean literally it's a water slide. Uh, it's a it's a tube slide on a cruise ship, so it's cool. Yeah. I see a part that seems to eke out over the edge of the ship. Yeah, there's like a loop that goes like over the ocean. That's horrifying. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. See, here's the thing about getting wet. It's, it's my hair and my face. Like, I'm in a bathing suit. We're at the, you know, we're going to get in the pool in a yeah. minute and stuff. It's like, it's all good, but it's just like... <coughs> yeah. Yeah. Ladies get it. Or I'm a diva. One of the two. Who's to say? That was 
was great. It's pretty fun. Yeah. Even I, who hate water rides, can admit it's fun. It's a good time. I mean, I really do like the, the start where you hang out over the edge of the ship. That's neat. Yeah, and on your way up, you're not allowed to film in there, but on your way up, there's a little comic that tells you that Huey, Dewey, and Louie built the aqueduct, and then Donald wrote it, and he flew out of the uh, tube and landed in the side of the boat, which is why his little butt is uh, on the side of the boat, which is very cute. Yep. It's got a 42 inch height requirement. Of course, it's gonna have a longer wait on like your day at sea. Yeah. So if you come back early from your castaway day or you don't get off at one of the ports, you probably can ride it without too long a wait, but that's so cute. Totally worth it. I just totally ran into it. a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I find interesting? What? Is that in that little cartoon, Donald had little swim shorts he was wearing. He did. But he doesn't wear pants. That's true. Why he, does he need a swim short? The aqua duck is rough? I don't know. Well, we had a nice time at the pool. So now we are headed to Flo's, which is the excellent sort of deliverer of grab and go fare. We're talking burgers, chicken tenders, sandwiches, pizza, as well as I think they have a daily unique offering. Yeah, they've got a special pizza of the day. They've got different sandwiches. Um, and not only are we going to get a little nosh, Alan and my best friend have a bed to settle up. So she used to eat whatever pizza and whatever topping Alan picks. So you can have fun. Get your friends things. Well, I'm nice. <laughs> I'm abandoning all those I love on a very important mission. First stop, refilling my cup on Disney Cruise Line. Soda is included, which is unique compared to some other cruise lines. So I recommend bringing a cup with you uh, so that you can fill up if you are a soda drinker, if you want to just have water, whatever it is. Of course, they have cups too, but it's better to have your own big cup that you can fill up. And now the main stop on our mission. Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, Toy Story's on. Uh, we got to focus though. Here it is, ice cream. This is where you can get unlimited soft serve throughout your vacation. They do a variety of flavors. They rotate every day. They typically always have vanilla and chocolate, but one machine might have something different. Let's see what they have today. We've got vanilla chocolate there, strawberry and banana. And then over here we've got vanilla and chocolate again. Ooh, what if I want strawberry and chocolate, like a chocolate covered strawberry? Hmm. Unlimited soft serve. What more could you want? We are back in our room after a lovely pool day as well as a snack. Yes, and the next thing on the agenda is to see the show. We have the late seating of dinner, so you either see the early show and go to late yeah. dinner or have early dinner and see the late show. And uh, But we, we cannot go like this. No, 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 no. Just really quick. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Ready to go see the show. Tonight the show is Believe, which is a cruise line original, features a bunch of different characters. The first night we saw the Golden Mickeys, and then the second night we saw Beauty and the Beast, which was an adaption of the live action. Which one was your favorite so far? I liked the Golden Mickeys the most so far. Me too. I like the montages where a bunch of characters show up as opposed to just like one story. Yeah. But I've heard Believe is like cheesy in a good way, lots of characters. Let's go to the theater. All right. Much like a Broadway show, you're not allowed to film inside the theater, film the performance. They want the magic to maintain um, for those who are not here. So we'll see you after. It's the best show I've ever seen. It was a very good show. Would you write in the field? I cried a thousand tears. I don't want to give away too much of it because it's got a wonderful story, but there's so many Disney characters and songs. I sobbed. Best show of the trip. Yeah, no, fully, fully. Uh, incredible, incredible show. The entertainment, the caliber on these ships, too, it's, oh, it's, it's I mean, it's that's what the Lion King, it's, it's Disney caliber. It's what you expect on a Disney cruise. What's the new Mickey? Okay. Finally said hi to Mickey, and he's so Yay! cute. Oh, it's a captain outfit. That he's got it. the little captain outfit. And hugging like just came back on cruise line. It came back to the parks earlier, and it just magic. Enjoy, especially after seeing that show that had me crying a thousand tears. 
Now we are headed to the district, which is one of the adult areas on the ship. It's got several different clubs, a champagne bar, a pub, a dance club, and they have trivia here that's for adults only. They're doing 2000s music trivia, so we're headed to meet our friends to do that. Yeah, and I think one of, the bi- one of the biggest misconceptions about a Disney cruise is that it's just for families or small kids, but there's really something for everybody, including you Disney adults out there, and that's what we're taking part in. Absolutely. I can't wait. We crushed at 90s trivia yesterday, so hopefully we'll do well at 2000. Oh, so, sure, yeah. so this is Pub 687. It's kind of the feel of like an Irish pub or an English pub. They have a lot of beers on draft. They also do some bar bites that are an additional cost, and this is where they host a lot of the trivia events for the adults only. Um, we do a trivia. Oh, does this answer it? Crushed. We won. Crushed. I have a medal. I will not be taking it off. And now it's time for dinner at Animator's Palette. So dinner on the Disney Cruises rotational dining. Um, there are three restaurants aboard the Disney Dream, as well as the quick service and the buffet restaurants. Um, tonight we are dining at Animator's Palette. This is a classic Disney uh, cruise line restaurant. It's got a couple different variations, but it's absolutely magical. But again, to not be the worst dinner guest in all time with our friends who are here, please enjoy this eating montage. Montage of eating. This room is all about the magic of Disney animation and there are some characters that greet you and there are so many Easter eggs in here. I'm having a hard time looking around. Like if you look up there, you've got a Tin Toy, which was one of the first Pixar shorts. You've got uh, an Eva from Wally up there. Over on the books, you've got different books about sea life because uh, spoiler alert, Crush is one of the characters that uh, you'll see featured. So there's different books about sea life. If you look over here, there's some uh, concept art from Finding Nemo, including the sharks. There's a Buzz Lightyear model. I just love, love, love it. If you ever wanted to know what my house looks like, it's kind of like this wall. It's just like sharks and buzz. Aw, dude. What, dude? What kind of gnarly things have you done today? We went swimming. Did you really go swimming, dude? Yeah. That's also what I did today, dude. Wow. Oh, dude, that's totally awesome, dude. Now for the review. Animator's Palette is quite a varied menu. They have a variety of different style cuisines. They've got some heavy American things like beer and cheese soup, but then they also have a variety of pastas and they have an Asian inspired steak. Uh, For starters, which I want to remind you now that you can order as much as you'd like. So if you'd like to try more than one starter, you're absolutely welcome to. For starters, we got one of my favorite things on the Disney Cruise Line, which are the black truffle pasta persets. These are little pasta purses, and they're filled with truffle scented cheese, and they have a champagne sauce. Honestly, I ate my entire plate. I ate some of my friend's plate, and I could have just ordered like three plates of these for dinner, and I would have been happy as a clam. They were really tasty. I ended up getting the tomato and goat cheese tart, which is a very simple dish, just like it sounds. The acidity of the tomato and the goat cheese really offset with the light crust and the incredibly flaky crust of the tart itself. Think of a mini, very thin crust pizza when you're thinking about this. Very, very good. Exactly what you're expecting. I also tried the Serrano ham and manchego cheese, which was similar to just a little charcuterie board number. The manchego cheese is wonderful and the ham is good as well. Really what I'm saying is animator's palate shines with the appetizers more than the rest of the meal. I ended up going with the loaded potato soup next, and I'm not going to lie, this was a little bit disappointing in terms of the appetizers that I have had or the soup dishes I've had on the cruise. It was mildly seasoned and it was a little bit more thin than I would have expected. I think it's a solid pick-me-up soup if you're cold and you might want a warm soup on a cruise, but otherwise I probably wouldn't get it again. My soup, the butternut squash, was also pretty mid-range. It was sweet and creamy but forgettable. Definitely wasn't a standout dish like a lot of things on the cruise. However, what is a standout at Animator's Palette is the bread comes with a creamy garlic dip to dip it into. And again, I would have been happy just getting the pasta, the bread, uh, and some of the other appetizers as opposed to the full menu. Now onto the main courses. I got the teriyaki steak. You know, the flavor of teriyaki was present. The steak was of middle quality. It was cooked very well. I asked for medium rare and it was indeed truly medium rare. I actually think if they gave me more of the wasabi mashed potatoes, I would have been happier. 
I actually was so full at this point that I asked if they could do a Caesar salad uh, for dinner, and they said absolutely, which is just a great example of Cruise Line cast members going above and beyond and that white glove A-plus service. None of the uh, entrees were incredibly appealing to me other than the steak, which I did try a few bites of Alan's. So I just enjoyed a simple classic salad um, after a full day of eating. It, It was a nice thing that the cast members made that happen for me. I think the best part of this meal for me was our dessert. And it was the lemon icebox cake. It was just great lemon flavor. And it reminded me of something my grandmother used to make for me growing up. So I think this really hit close to home for me. And I just, I just can't say enough good things about this dessert. I also really enjoyed my dessert. It was a brownie cheesecake and it tasted exactly like a brownie and a cheesecake had a beautiful, delicious dessert baby. It was very simple in flavor, very rich, so definitely shareable, but nothing extraordinary or super unique yeah we just wrapped our final meal here on the dream i've been Uh, eating for four days i i don't want to think about food ever again what i will say what's wonderful about disney cruise line cruises in general but your servers follow you from restaurant to restaurant their outfits change every time but they learn what you like so if you order a coke on the first night they're going to bring you a coke on the second night our servers were wonderful and amazing love them literally by the end they're showing us their pictures their kids Like, customers, that is the other thing that makes Disney Cruise go above and beyond. Like, they are just amazing. (sighs) Animator's Palette's probably my least favorite of the three kind of, like, standard meals, but it is fun with Crush coming to life. And Crush had a Buzz Lightyear. (laughs) You tell me what this is, dude? Oh, my God! Oh, my God, yes! That's Buzz Lightyear! Oh, dude. Like, it's totally righteous, dude. Yeah. Like, dude, is that a Disney? Yes, that's a Disney. Overall, I think Disney cruises are one of the best ways to vacation with Disney. They are so much more carefree and relaxing and less stressful compared to the theme parks. You are going to have some of the best character interactions. You are going to have some of the best cast members. You're going to have really special and unique experiences that you don't get on land. Highlights for me always include Castaway Day, Palo, Pirate Night, that midship detective agency game, some of the best food you're going to eat. I truly enjoy vacationing with Disney cruises. I think they're perfect as both a family vacation destination or childless adults like us. You can still have the best time on a Disney cruise. I agree. And as this was my first Disney cruise I've ever been on, I'm telling you right now, I've certainly looked at dates to try to go on another one soon. The highlights for me were 100% Paolo and the wonderful food selection that you had. Castaway Key was an incredible private island experience. And I think most surprisingly for me, the best parts were not just the great sort of adult areas and bar zones and things like the Skyline Lounge or Pink, but also seeing characters and very unique outfits and offerings there was really nice to see and be able to watch people interact with characters in a very new way that I had personally never seen before. We had so much fun on this Disney cruise. We did split this one between vacation with our friends and making content. But if Disney Cruise Line content is something you're interested in seeing more of, certainly let us know down on the comments. Yeah, send us on another cruise. You don't have to twist our arms to go. Oh no. Seriously, like one person. Just, yeah, one comment. One person tell us to go. Literally, I'll be the person who tells us to go. I'll just be a plant. That's a good idea. But I think we'll have some support in the comments. All right. We've only got a few more hours left on the Disney Dream, so we're going to go spend that with our friends. Thank you so much for joining us. Yes, thank you for coming along today. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on social media, ring that notification bell. And until next time, friends, I'm Molly. This is Aline. You're watching Mammoth Club, and it's been so magical. See you real soon. I am so full. I never want to eat. Do you want to go get an ice cream cone, though? Mm, Yeah.